is a really popular crispy Brillo and Capellini. Um, it's a lot less expensive than a tractor, and the weight of it is a lot less, so you're not compacting the soil as much. In a perfect world, you would no-till, but we are not transplanting, we're direct seeding. So we're going to put peas and beans in here. And so the goal here is just to move the pathway soil onto the top of the bed and it creates this uniform bed that's raised that will drain well and it'll heat up in the spring. So you have increased soil temperature. The key with the rotary plow, what's different about it than a tiller is a tiller will smear and, and compact the soil as it comes around, the rotary plow just lifts from the pathway, so you're not actually tilling the bed. You're maintaining the, the planted space and you're maintaining the soil levels in the bed. So you're not disrupting the planted area, you're only disrupting a pathway. So these beds have not been tilled in a year um, because we can even see the tomato plant stems from the previous year. So I'm, I'm just working in the pathway. I think that's what makes it different than running over the top of the bed itself where you want to grow your plants um, is, is we use some light rakes um, and drag it across the top and it, it's, it's basically preserving that the, the microorganisms in the soil and the layers in the soil um, and all the earthworms and, and all the life that's, that's within the soil part. When you're ready to plow, you, you lift this up, which drops the attachment to the right level and there's a lot of different levels we're just gonna barely kiss the surface of the soil through so that means now the plow is resting on the soil and the wheels up by about two inches it's like a massive egg beater and these blades here pick up just enough and it throws it this way so it just it doesn't invert the soil it um, picks it up and moves the top few inches of soil over to the right so lifting up the soil in the pathway and putting it on the top of the bed really useful for making raised beds um, really important in the Pacific Northwest is to get your soil up and get it drained because it's so wet here. So I'm gonna fire this up. Try to make a couple turns without hitting the high top. So I got my brake on, it's in neutral. I'm gonna go forward. This is my PTO or power takeoff handle. And I put this in cold start. And then I try to pull this without hurting my shoulder. It's a new piece of equipment, thank you to the Camp Sustainability Fund. Anybody who's in around two to two to five acres is, is generally tends to use this piece of equipment.